Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Facecast, and today we are going to use the common survivor, the Red Void Power Weapon, and all Void Waker equipment here. Check it out. We have the Void Waker Emblem, Void Waker Handguards, Void Waker Windbreaker, Void Waker Sash, and Void Waker Treads. We're also going to use the Red Nanobot Tech Part, as well as these Tech Parts right here. Let's go. All right, here's the daily challenge. Get two random Evo weapons to start and learned skills negative one. So we're going to have one less skill here, but we're going to start with two Evo skills. And as you see, one of them is the Caltrops. And I have the red nanobot equipped, so let's freaking go. These spikes will cause the enemies to bleed out. I was trying to see if I could find two Caltrops. Unfortunately, I can't, and it's giving me just a bad selection here. I'm going to grab the soccer ball. Void Waker handguards will insta-kill enemies below 20% HP. And when that happens, you will see these red marks with the those little skulls right there and here comes an elite at the 30 second mark let's kill it get it caltrops get it magnetic rebounder and we just wasted it but as you see here void waker hand guards are just insta killing enemies all over the map zombies are incoming let's go let's get them with our black holes let's get them with the caltrops and let's grab more high power bullet oh gosh look at all of these balls flying in the air the enemy really thinks i'm going to approach them i'm just going to stand here let these pink balls fly around me and as you see we're in some type of berserk mode we're like yellow right there when when we get hit we turn into some type of berserk mode right there but when our health goes down the void waker windbreaker will put us in another type of berserk mode and we will automatically heal one thing you might notice about the void waker windbreaker is that you essentially have four lives once your health goes down it will rapidly heal you giving you an extra life and then once you die and revive it will do that again so there are four lives right there however the eternal suit will revive you twice and also give you an attack and speed boost let's grab this magnet we're getting approached by this giant elite right here this giant spider looking elite let's kill it this thing is pretty strong it's hanging in there get it buddy get it it's not leaving me alone it caused a little bit of damage there but we finally got it and we're only going to pull one thing from its chest the high power bullet now we are getting approached by higher hp mobs unfortunately for them we have the caltrops equipped with the red nanobot tech part so there's nothing they can do like i can't even see them on the screen they left they're scared they ran away where is everyone why am i here alone zombies are incoming at the three minute mark finally some company so i don't have to be alone anymore these pink balls are a little dangerous i don't want them to hit me they will take my hp down now my hp is significantly lower than it would be because i typically use all red s grade equipment this time i'm using excellent and epic so it's a little different and here comes a boss at the four minute mark the sapper worm beta ow it hit me that hurt guy that hurt why did you do that but we are now in berserk mode check this out we are going to rapidly heal one thing i don't like about that though is that we don't have a boost after that we don't have a boost we don't die revive and get a boost See, we just die and revive i have to use a revival token there however this suit is really designed for ender's echo it's not really designed for this type of gameplay i think the eternal suit is better in chapters and other modes like that whereas the void waker equipment set is just better in ender's echo it's designed around killing bosses killed the sapper worm already where is he there we go we got him my health was going down and look at that we are in berserk mode we are rapidly healing and now we're fine let's grab this magnet there's gloom nova we have evolved void power let's freaking go we have shields now and our black holes have a little spunk to them we're getting approached by a big mob a mob with high hp here but the caltrops is handling them quite well it's launching spikes all over pretty much hitting everyone on the screen except for this little guy with a gun right here he's trying to sneak in get him we got him we're getting approached by these robots these little things that spawn robots look at them let's save them let's set them free and let's go kill them with the caltrops make everything on the screen bleed caltrops the nanobot is freaking insane even though our hp is lower than normal we are handling this daily challenge quite well and here's the zombie rider the last boss let's get him let's get him ow he shot me that hurt my voice cracked right there i'm not gonna edit that out that was beautiful that was epic i've never heard it do that before okay we can get him we can get him i don't want him to run oh these bullets just deal so much damage gloom nova 44 percent caltrops 20 percent magnetic rebounder 13 supercell 12 and soccer ball 11 so that's it this is the void waker set right here i think it's much better in ender's echo but i'll have to try that out later when i level it up more or get it to a red grade and we'll do that soon so make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next survivor.io video i'll see you guys later